stop in Williamsburg was a cute new restaurant called Miranda, just a few blocks away from here. So now we're going to head over to Greenpoint and check out some of the restaurants in that neighborhood. And the restaurants that we're covering today give us an indication of how this neighborhood is changing, as was the case when this parish was established back in 1905. The parish was established to serve the Slovak immigrants coming from Eastern Europe, and it did that for many, many years. Over the years, as the neighborhood changed and many people moved out, the parish saw a decline in attendance. It wasn't until the 1980s when the Carmelite priests from India came to give this parish new life, and they did that until today. With the change in the neighborhood and the influx of people coming from all over, this parish is once again seeing new life. And it's amazing how much history this little parish has. And like you mentioned, there's been so many changes taking place in this neighborhood, and it continues to change. Now we're gonna head out and take a closer look for ourselves. Let's go. Greenpoint, Brooklyn is also known for its really large Polish community. So when we asked around about where to get some good Polish food, they told us to check out Prolowski Jadlo, where you'll be treated like a king. I'm here at Krolewski Jadlo with the owner, Chris. How you doing? Very good, yourself? Good. good, we're excited to be here. We're excited to be here. Tell everyone what the name of the restaurant means. Kroleski Jadlo, it's King's Feast. It's like an old-fashioned Polish restaurant. The theme and the, the whole uh, design of the place resembles like an old castle. Right. You got the nice pictures of the Polish kings, nice swords from Poland on the walls. So it resembles like an old times back in Poland. So then when customers come in, they get to play Guess Which King. That's, that's other, probably right? the, the biggest entertainment of this restaurant. You okay. know, everybody is trying to guess which king is what, you know. Okay. So that's, that's very good. Okay, so you keep your customers entertained at the same time, which and, is always and good. And teaching them some history, you know. <laughs> so why don't you tell us a little bit about Polish cuisine? What are some of the different flavors we find in it? Polish, restaurant, Polish restaurants are well known for, for top dishes like pierogies stuffed cabbage, okay. Polish kielbasa, which is sausage, and potato pancakes. Okay. However, in this restaurant, we're trying to do more than that, trying to put some extra specials uh, in terms of a lot of fish, some roasted duck legs, some uh, trout, salmon. So we're trying to be a little bit more upscale restaurant okay. than most of the Polish restaurants. And at the same time, you're showing the public like the range of Polish food, right? It's okay. not just the basics, there's more to it, right? Yes, of course, the menu is pretty, pretty large. And now you're going to show us a special dish in the kitchen. What's that? Definitely we will have to try the pierogies, which are like the most popular. And then we're going to go for the salmon, okay. which is probably the most popular uh, special in our restaurant. That's right. Okay, great. Let's go. There you go. So we're down here in the kitchen with Chef Chris, not just the owner. And you're going to make yes. for us Polish pierogies which is probably the most famous and well-known of all Polish food. So first, I'm going to ask you to give the audience a brief description of what a pierogi is. Basically, it's a dough stuffed with different type, types of fillings. Okay. The most popular in Polish are called Russian pierogies, okay. which is uh, stuffing with uh, cheese, some potatoes, some onions, uh, salt and pepper. Okay. Basically, we, what we do over here, we have the dough. So you flatten out the dough. We flatten out the dough. Glass, that's something what you can find in every kitchen. Right? Yeah. Very technical. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, you know, you get the dough. So you stretch it out with your hands. That's right. You take the stuffing. Okay. You try to stuff it. So then once you've got it assembled, mm -hmm. how do you actually prepare it? That's the easiest thing to do. Okay. You just you just throw it into the boiling water. Okay. We take one for now. Pierogies are well known, the most well known of all Polish food. And yes. I would say even common. Are they common in Polish culture as well? Yes. Uh, pierogies, most pierogies we eat during the Christmas time. So what we do, we just take the pierogi and we drop it into hot boiling water. And then a couple minutes, like five minutes, when the pierogi goes up, mm -hmm. you pull it out and you just serve it to the family, to the guests or whatever. Okay, simple enough. What can we say? Now what's the next thing you're going to show us how to make? Our most popular uh, special, which is a salmon in lemon sauce served with roasted potatoes. Okay, definitely not traditionally what you think of Polish. It's kind of a lighter cuisine, lighter part of our cuisine. Okay, so sauteed salmon and lemon sauce. Yeah. What's the first step? 
Well, first step, we season this with our special seasoning. I'm not gonna tell you the recipe because that's a mystery. <laughs> it's a secret, right? okay. That's a secret mystery for us. <laughs> but it's got a couple different herbs. So we try, you know, like season a little bit the salmon on both sides. And the easiest thing is just saute it. So hot pan. Okay. Usually salmon is supposed to be medium rare inside. Right. So that's why we try to sear it slightly on one side and then flip it over on the, uh, for the, on the other side. How does the lemon sauce prepare? I mean, lemon sauce is very simple stuff, you know. You use some butter, some flour, then you add some uh, chicken stock, then we add some uh, white, at first we add the white wine. Okay. We make a little reduction, then we add some stock, some lemon juice, and that's it. Slight okay. of, fl maybe a little touch of, of butter. So now our salmon is finished sauteing, right? Yes. Okay, so now what do we do next? Well, we play it on the plate. The best thing is when it's cold on the outside and, like I said before, medium rare on the inside. Perfect. So we put it on the plate. Small red roasted potatoes. Nice. Those look golden brown and delicious golden too. Golden brown, that's right. <laughs> so now it's time for the lemon sauce. Yeah, lemon sauce, which we prepared before. Right. You have the reduction ready already. Yeah. White wine, some chicken stock, lemons. Okay, Some great. decoration. Let's put... A little lemon. Parsley for garnish. Whatever looks nice, tastes nice, like you said before. Right. So voila, the dish is done. There you go. Light Polish. Light Polish dish. salmon, lemon sauce. This is like the, like I said before, the most popular our special dish. There you have it. So now let's eat. Enjoy. Thank you. So when you're looking for Polish cuisine that's a little outside of what you'd normally expect, but still traditional, Krolewski Jadlo is the place to come. And here you can feast like a king. So now, let's break bread. <laughs>